Good evening everybody and welcome to something completely new for the channel. Uh, this is Odd Sparks, an automation adventure, a game where you control these little units, these little wooden logs, which are called Odd Sparks, and they follow a pathing system. So not quite conveyor belts, but close enough for me. And uh, they deliver things, they do things and you have to do to tell them what to do and, and build and um, that's about all I know about the game because I haven't spoiled myself whatsoever on it. I just uh, wanted to play and see how we go. So um, let's give it a try, shall we? As you can see here, there's random logic blocks and things that can do stuff. So that's quite interesting as people move and do. Yeah. So, yeah. Shall we give it a try? Let's go. Uh, village name is going to be called uh, Mobius. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because that's a good seed. Okay, are we great person? Yes, we actually control a person running around and then you instruct your odds box to do things. So uh uh that'll that'll be fine. I think that'll randomize. That looks good to me. That's just yeah, yeah, hit the random thing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that because why not? Why not? What other hair types we got here? Oh, this unlock things. Ooh. That'll do. That'll do. It's a calm and quiet day, and you're relaxing on your bench. All of your daily tasks are done, and the warm sun gently lulls you into a midday nap. Ah. You dream of an adventure. Of a more exciting life than the one you have right now in the frontier village. When suddenly... A loud crash comes down... From the field. A large crash comes from down the field and wakes you up. Okay. Right, okay. So, yeah, so we have a person we run around, we do the things, so. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, clean up the broken shed. Okay, there's no way to fix the shed, so you can clean up the area. As you go with debris and shards of wood, you find a gleaming metal object in the middle of the mess. This must have been the thing that crashed into and destroyed your shed. Unsure of what it is, you pick up a strange metal object. It's warm to the touch. One person comes to the mind as someone who can help figure out what this is. The divine researcher. Whoa! Your character runs fast from paths. Ah, okay, so so we're slower. Um, so no, I'll get super speed. Meow. Oh, we seem to keep some some speed when we leave a path as well. That's cool. Ah, okay, cool, cool, right. The divine researcher is up here. So it's kind of an adventure game with some automation built into it. So, uh, you need my help with the weird thing? I love weird things. Let me see. Oh, what if you poke it right? The strange piece of metal you picked up from your broken shed comes alive. It wraps its craft around your broken stuff, and suddenly a wealth of information enters your mind. Dazed, you look at the ancient tablet of the researcher and realize you can understand the ancient writings. <gasps> The edge of the tablet seems particularly wrecked, but you can define some. You can definitely read some of the text. Something about magic, devastation, a spark. Something about hope. You relay everything to the researcher. You can understand it. This is incredible. Amazing news. I oh, you must look at the village monument for me. Examine the monument. Okay, okay. Accept and pin. Ah, so we can. Let's go without me. I'll just slow you down. Come back in. Tell me what you find here. Bum, so, ah, there we go. We have pinned things on the right hand side here. Bum, 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 bum. And we have quests and things, uh, which is going to be awesome. So, okie dokie. Uh, so, examine the monument. Is that this? Comes the divine ruin. Although it seems like this ruin is particularly wrecked. Magic devastation. Ah, that's, that's the thing there. So, okay. So, we need to go to the town monument. Where is the town monument? Ah, over there. Do, 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 do. Hi, Town Monument. 
Village Merchant. The village merchant looms above you, quietly and with the weight of its years behind it. You extend your hand and the strange metal in your brooch radiates a soft light. Suddenly, the carvings on the stone itself begin to shift into text. You barely have time to understand what you're seeing as the writing appears and disappears. You can't catch all of the information. Something about being last accessed several million days ago. Uh, the word danger catches your eye. The monument is clearly more important than everyone had assumed. The words settle for a moment. Dangerous levels of corrupt corrupted ether, ether detected. Cleanse pulse routine initiated. You can hear the movement rattle. Something's already trying to activate itself, but nothing happens. Theory cleansing failed. Functions locked. Connection severed. Cleansing routine recommended. Danger to life critical. <gasps> oh no. The monument opens up, re revealing a large number of small slabs of stone. One appears in the middle with a single slot and a single button. You should tell the divine researcher about everything you found here. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, so we can upgrade things and oh, okay. Okay, so that's like an inventory thing. Cool. Let's go back to the divine researcher. Uh, no, nope, you're not the divine researcher. Let's go this way. Do, 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 do. Did you look at the Divine Monument yet? Tell me what you've seen. Don't keep me talking about waiting. Complete. So right. everything you've seen with the Village Monument was activated and uh, to the Divine Leech Treasure. The strange text, the slots that could fit an Aether Shard. Aether Shard? Aether Shard. How it attempted to form a cleansing pulse but failed. The Divine Researcher's natural smile face as he tries to digest everything. We've had individuals explore the north pass, explore the north, past the woodlands and even past the mountains. The ones that travel furthest returned ill and talked about how the magic and the ether itself felt strange. Some used the word corrupted. Would explain a life the village monument could clean corrupted ether. And it seems odd that this place was so perfect for establishing a new village. Says so that we should turn it on. Okay. Right, so he's got a new quest for us. Have to, have to head into the woodlands. You're not supposed to go there, but I'll give him my position. Just be careful, it can be quite dangerous. You can aether shot by hunting animals, but uh, maybe have a better chance if you look for a bunny corpse. The way there is an ancient shrine just outside. It has this kooky looking golden guy on top of it. You should check it out too. Okie dokie. Good luck. Have a great adventure, you hear? Okie dokie. So we have a reason to build um, uh, an automation system. So let's uh, let's go to the north. There's loads of people to talk to, but um, I'm gonna kind of just go with the story. We're not gonna uh, explore too much. I want to get to the uh, the automation part. Rotate and zoom by dragging the scroll. Ah, oh cool. Okay, I didn't know you could rotate. Oh, that's cool. I thought it was a fixed camera, but no, that's right. Okay. So if I zoom in, it changes the pitch. Okay. Field spunny. Cool. An ancient stone re ruin stands in front of you. It's clear now it's less of a shrine and more of a machine. It goes lightly under your touch, and the carvings on the stone begin to shift to create words. Test start. Attempt to create one stumpy spot. Connection not found. Test failed. To reconnect, unlock function. Machine range zero. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What do we have here? Ancient waypoint. Ancient waypoint has front of you. It goes slightly under your touch and the carbons of stone begin to shift. Great words. Waypoint inactive. Connection not found. To reconnect, unlock function. Okay. Oh, more things. A vlogs, I call them stumpy sparks. They're the first step in making it right. Okay, so I guess we've got to do a bit of a explorey. A field spunny. What are these things? They look like, I don't know, I don't know what they are. I was going to say spiders, but not really. Oh, grind the tall grass. Uh, oh. Can we get up there? Yep, we can. Awesome. Oh, what's this? 
We're going to the small workstation. Can hold. Hey. Some logs. Right, okay. I don't need to gather all these things, I'm just kind of... I'm exploring. Right, so we gather resources. Wood, stone. Another spunny corpse there. Let's uh, get that. I don't know what's killed these spunnies, but... I feel like gathering a couple of shards might be better than just grabbing one. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a ramp there as well. Cool. Let's go back. Do, 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 do. Oh no, access to this one again. Sorry. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, I save. Boop. Uh, so I'm going to drag that into there, yeah, there we go, and unlock. Unlocks all works, workstation shrines at range 1. Two workstations we unlock, the acidic and that, so we need a stumpy spark, okay. Okay, so we've activated that, and then we need to go back outside again. means we can turn this on you touch the shrine and it slowly works into life <laughs> slowly <laughs> seems to be running some kind of test is checking that everything still works suddenly out spits a rather strange creature into your arms the shrine registers that a stumpy spark has been immediately activated as part of the test the stumpy spark stares at you and it seems ready and eager to receive instructions however before anything can be done with a puff of magic, the spunky the, sp, 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 the stumpy spark turns into a wood disc that fits in your hand. With the sparks deactivation successful, the shrine states that it's now fully operational and is ready to be assigned sparks. Strange metal in your staff changes, and slots that can fit the disc appear. You place the wooden disc into the slot, and the stumpy spark begins to follow you. Eee! Okay, so we have a basic spark. The most basic of sparks. Can't do a lot, tries hard, a good listener. Yeah. Not too bright, but hard working. Uh, blunt, so it's got one, 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 and one, so it's the basic thing. So I guess we get five different versions of them, or they get different, like we might get offensive sparks and carrier sparks and... Awesome. You can throw sparks in aim mode, hold space to aim. Oh, okay, cool. Right, okie dokie. I have one spark. There he is. There he is, look at him. Awesome. 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 Equip the spark in the activation bar. Done. Throw the spark. <laughs> oh, it just starts working. Can I help you? Nope, I can't drop down a tree. So if I throw it at that, for instance, it'll start working. Does it then collect all the wood and bring it back to me? Eee. Then, oop. Look, it does. So if I throw you at those woods, will you pick those up? Oh, you're going to pick one up. Oh, you only carry one. That's okay. Awesome. Feel the spark in the stumpy spark shrine. Is that this one? A 
expiring spark to an empty spark slot to automate the workstation. Oh, spark slot's down there. Aha! So I put the sparks there, and he becomes part of the thing there. We then put an ether in there, and we put that in there. Um, I don't really want to do that. I want to... Do that. So it starts running. If I take it out, it stops. Ah, okay. So it doesn't use the resources until it hits 100%. That's good. That's kind of good. I, a lot of games tend to take the resources before it starts. Um, once I take it at the end, I mean, if you're like, oh no, I actually don't want that, you can you have the opportunity to take it out. No, I need someone else. So, look at him go. Look at him. Rolling on the buttons. Awesome. Rolly, 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 roll. Nice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> You go, little buddy, you go. Well done. And we got another stumpy spot. So we made a new one. Bloop, and now we've got two of them. Yay. Do you know what? Um, let's, uh, right, how do I, oh, oh, oops. Right, you can drop stuff on the floor. Okay, so pick that up. If I right click, it puts one in at a time. Okay. Get three. And of course, now he's, uh, he can do 3.8 a minute. Instead of 1.9 a minute, so it's double the speed. Nice. Bloop. Awesome. And I can have active sparks. So I can use them back out there and keep them in my inventory and use them as and when I want to. Awesome. Okay. So you build your little uh, things. There's a forester thing there. I, I didn't want to talk to people because um, although normally you'd adventure and you'd look around and you'd see things out, I feel like the story's going to take us to everybody anyway, so... Um, oh. You've unlocked it! Fantastic! Did you check out the shrine? What changed there? Seems that now more functions are able to unlock them. However, now that Stumpy Spark Shrine is unlocked, you can you should check out and see what else has changed. Tell the Divine Venture on everything you've seen about the ancient shrine, especially the rather strange creature that came out of it after you fixed it. The good sparks, you say? How unusual. Clearly, I have some research to do. <laughs> They're quite cute. You should show them around. Maybe others in the village will have some thoughts on them. Hey, there we go. So we thought the mayor, the woodsman, cool. was a cool. Awesome. Cool, cool. So that, that tells us to talk to other people. I'm going to go back to the shrine for a minute, though. Do, 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 do. So this one's a stumpy spark in order to Does that say two because I have two in my inventory? Is that what that is? Yeah, five. So in the brackets is what's gonna yeah, cool. Right, that's it we'll do. We'll leave that for a minute. Let's go and talk to the people. Let's this this follow the quest. Follow the quest, press K to bring on the quest log. So these are items I found. Cool. Camera controls, that's all the things there. Uh, working shrines. Yeah, oh, it's got a footprint. Awesome. So that's the size of it. Takes 32 seconds. Objects. Ah, oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's a map. Map of the village. Oh, I like the. The, the wavy, it's not just static, that's cool. Um, okay, so we've completed all those. Cool, okay. Right, rules, advancement, so we can talk to those three people there, so, and they, they are highlighted with stuff there, so let's go and talk to the mayor. Oh, the spark things you found are rather cute. I'm sure lots of people will come far and wide to study them. Oh. Although our village is a little underdeveloped, we don't have much reason to grow, but maybe we could do something so those who can who can help you study the sparks will come and stay. I guess I have to upgrade the village. Cool, okay. The mayor's heard that you've found something new and believes this will create a new influx of people looking to visit the village. She wants you to she wants to support you by improving the village and setting up a permanent marketplace. She needs a large amount of materials for her project, wooden logs and sawn timber. Ah, I accept. I'm not going to pin it. It's quite a lot, I know, but take as long as you need. We're here to support you, dearie. Nice. Awesome. Um, wait, did you have someone else for us? Uh, we'll, we'll talk to you after the other ones. 
I just got to talk to the woodcutter. Hi! Can you tell me how to make sawmill stuff? Woodsman! <laughs> well, this looks like sparks, you say. You can get to work for you? I. Hmm. Tell me what. Here's how I think we should describe the ancient shrine and how sparks work in one. He mutters something and nods off, not to himself. See, yes, of course. Hmm, it's pretty ingenious. Right. Let me have a few, will you? And give me some materials. I want to try making a logger for your little sparks. Ah, so we get a blueprint. Awesome. So we would look stone and two spumpy sparks. Okay, cool. We leave the woodsman deep thought as he mentally constructs a design for the logger. Awesome. What is this thing? Put a wood in, a log in. So I just create logs there. Awesome. Okay, I just, I, but I have to manually click and hold the button. Okay, cool, cool. So that is a pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Quartermaster. So those weird dolls of yours, they follow your instructions, right? You think they can carry stuff too? Yeah. If they hear about the sparks carrying items, you see the quartermaster has an idea. He wants to see if they can use paths to carry items to and from buildings. She asked you for a few sparks to test it out and promise to teach them what she's learned. Also, we'll unlock dark parts, so deliver three sparks. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, uh, let's go down to here. So we've got loads of quests to do. Awesome. We will get to automation. Don't worry. But um, it's a story-based automation game. I've been looking through my research, and it seems that these sparks are entirely unique. You're the first person to discover such a thing. Hmm. What? Are you surprised this old man can actually do some work? Divine technology is my speciality, I can't let you know. I've been thinking. Maybe we can recreate these sparks machines. The fine researcher grims, his eyes full of passion. He takes out several pages full of questions. It is rare to ask you. Uh oh. <laughs> so we need a spark, shards, and wooden logs. Okay. You spend what feels like forever answering questions. Ask a listening of questions about the Stumpy Spark Shrine. Its dimensions, its connections, how everything seems to work. By the end of it, the divine researcher seems satisfied. Mm. It uses the same etheric energies as the other divine technologies. And it certainly fits some old hypotheses by replacing the actual process. Well, nothing to do but try. Okay. So. Uh, press lock. Boom. Do we have three? So what do we need? We need loads of wood. Uh, we need one, two, five. We need six stumpy sparks. Let's make six stumpy sparks to start with, shall we? Do, 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 do. I'm telling you, you saw the items for the... Oh, yeah, so that's where we store stuff for the... Okay. Okay. So, like with every automation game, you have to uh, start slowly. Um, and manually do stuff. Uh, the ancient waypoint stands in front of you. It grows lightly under your touch. Some kind of waypoint in active collection. Oh, collection not found. Oh, I thought we did that. Oh, okay. Right, so if I was to dump those in there... And uh, was to put my... Two in there. You're not going to work now? Oh, it needs five wood. Okay. Okay. So, um, I can only have one controlled at a time, can't I? So. Awesome. Okay, I can call them back. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you, Spark Dude. Um, can I go somewhere where I can... I can also harvest stuff? Like, uh, there was a place over here, wasn't there? There was loads of stone on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so can I get you to harvest something? Right, can we do that? We need all these things, so we've got to gather loads of stuff.
not very quick the stumps but that's okay they might be very quick but they are um yeah they do um oh wow i can throw them <laughs> really far awesome gather some resources Okay, so there's four, one more, that makes five, that is two, and still keeps my spare one for me. So that'd be cool. We got some leaves, which is nice. I uh, also got a, uh, found a bag. Well, I don't know, I don't know where the bag went. I suppose the bag had stuff in it. Um, okay, five, okay. But on that. So if I leave you going, um, will you create the rest of them whilst I go back to the village? Sorry, how many did you want? I can't remember. Half of just two wants three stumpy sparks. It works. They walk on the paths. They even pick up and drop off items from buildings they pass. They walk on the right side of the path for some reason. Here, let me show you how to make a dirt path. E we now know how to make a dirt path. Ooh. The dirt path for G allows you to do new paths and delete existing paths. Cool, so we can start automating things. Nice. Well, I shall pick up your next. Actually, let's pick up your next quest as well. Try it out. Okay, I will. Tell me how it went. Yep, we'll do that outside of town. Let's go to the next one. The first production line. Mm -hmm. Wonder. Ah, did you get everything already? So we need. Uh, right, you want two stumpy sparks. Uh, five stone. If I control click, you can uh, split items like that. But on, there you go. How many ten wooden logs? Uh, so yeah, and then we need um, another one down down below. So, okie dokie. So I'm going to gather some more resources and get those quests uh, ready to hand in, and we shall come back next time, and we shall carry on. I need to go around and start collecting loads of wood and things. So um, requires a logger building to harvest Ooh. Hmm. maybe we'll do that and that will save us having to mine some trees we shall come in next time and we shall carry on from there thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you have enjoyed this one this looks like a fun little game we could have some some good time with and uh we shall come back next time and carry on from there until then as always have fun